In this demonstration, I'm going to walk you through one of our ThingWorks applications, Asset Monitoring and Utilization, available as part of our Factory Insights as a Service SaaS offering or as an on-premise deployment. For the demo, I'm going to be playing the role of a maintenance engineer at an automotive part production plant, responsible for continuously monitoring machine health and minimize the amount and duration of downtime events. When entering AMU, the user can navigate through equipment based on the plant hierarchy. We see here the highest level of the structure, in our case, the site level, represented by the box called Boston. The equipment tile provides us with information about how many assets are running in downtime or not configured under this hierarchy level. We can also see how many alarms are active on the assets behind this node. We could have multiple plants and hierarchy configured on one system, providing a multi-site overview. This top-down approach allows us to navigate through the equipment structure to pinpoint issues and assets that aren't performing as expected, are in downtime, or need our attention. We are now on the line level, and we can see our three lines as part of the automotive component production plan. We can see that the active alarm is caused by an asset in line one. We can continue to drill deeper through the line hierarchy to get to the asset level where we can monitor each piece of equipment and their sensor readings coming from PLCs or sensors that are connected via Kepware to ThingWorks. Each asset card provides the maintenance engineers with information about the operation time, active alarms, connection status, and up to nine operation critical sensor readings. We can easily identify that the CNC mill has an active alarm and that the operation temperature is the cause for this issue. From AMU, we have direct access to Process Troubleshooter, the perfect tool to identify root causes for all types of events, alarms, and data points trends. Using this powerful charting tool makes it easy to understand the relationship between events and data and to identify root causes. After we select a time frame, Process Troubleshooter provides me charting that visualizes my selected events, attribute data, and KPI trends in one view. I have the option to hide different data, zoom into the chart, dynamically change the time frame using drag with my cursor, or add any time more data points to it. We can drill down the factory hierarchy and select one or multiple equipment. In the middle of the screen, I can see three tabs with a list of events, a list of attributes related to the selected equipment, and KPIs. The user is free in what data points he wants to add to the chart. I am starting by adding the alarm event type to the chart. I also want to add the attributes of the equipment to the chart to better understand the relationship between the past alarms and all available data points. After I am done doing my selection of events, attributes, and KPIs, I can switch to chart mode and visualize the data. This powerful tool allows maintenance engineers or line managers to trend all kinds of data and identify issues and their root causes. As the maintenance engineer, I can also view more details about each alarm view how long the alarm has been active, who has acknowledged it, and what caused it. The advanced filter gives me the option to filter for specific alarms based on the status, time frame, priority, or related equipment. To view new active alarms, I will set the alarm status to new and leave all other filter options open. I can now see the active alarm caused by the operating temperature of the CNC milling machine. From here, I can take actions to acknowledge the alarm signaling other users in the system that I will take care of this issue, or if I know this alarm is redundant or an error by the PLC, I can delete the alarm. When I acknowledge an alarm, I get a pop-up that provides me with more details about the alarm. This alarm escalation and acknowledgement process is very helpful for a large maintenance crew to organize their resources and to keep track of machine issues for ongoing analysis. When I change the filter options, I can see that the alarm now appears under the Acknowledged Alarms. The Closed Alarm status option allows me to review previously closed alerts, which can be useful to identify recurring issues or cascading issues for the maintenance team. AMU also provides the maintenance engineer with reporting functionality around alarms. In the Alarm Report dashboard, I can generate reports around past alarm events. After selecting a time frame and equipment, we see a graph showing the number of alarm events in the selected time frame for this asset. We can change the graph to give insights into the average acknowledgement time of alarms, as well as the average closing time. The last AMU menu item provides the user with notification reports. Each time a user gets notified about an active alarm or an alarm escalation, 
AMU stores a record that we can review for compliance or maintenance improvement. Like in the Alarm Report dashboard, I select a time frame and can optionally filter by equipment as well. The dashboard looks very similar, but the data provides the user with insight about the notifications that have been sent. Utilizing the Asset Monitoring and Utilization application, PTC customers have noted significant performance improvements in throughput, unplanned downtime, and energy consumption.